Gorn Visnich. Gorn Visnich. Close that's enough. Perfect. Yeah, that's that's very very close. What okay. was it before? Before you changed it to Gorn Visnich. I didn't. Or you just changed the no. spelling. It was spelling. Joe Smith. Smith. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you see, <laughs> Joe. Thank you. Nice to he have you. You got rid of all the fancy work on your last name. No, you know, when yeah. I came here, it was like you know the, the keyboards didn't have all these fancy like now every language on your iPhone right. you can yeah. just change it. You know, yeah, so yeah. now we, I put it back like on Timeless. You can see it's S and. So how, how, how do you say it? How do you, when you say it's it? It's Vishnich. But you can't Gordon know Vishnich. that because you don't have S-H right. or C-H. It's different languages. So you'll spell. answer to anything. You'll answer yeah. to yeah. Joe, I like Gary. That. Gary. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Gorin co-stars in a drama series, Timeless, as a time-traveling criminal. And in this scene, you're about to see his character has traveled back to the 1930s to team up with Al Capone. Frankie says you have something of vital interest in it. These tax ledgers were seized during a raid on one of your establishments a few years ago. Key evidence for the tax evasion case they're building against you. Big gift. As if they're gonna get me for tax evasion. Get him out of here! Get him out of here! <laughs> You know what's cool about this show? Each episode is like a new show because you go to a different era. For actors, it's amazing. Yeah. You know, new costume every time, new era. You know, you need to brush up on your history lesson. Maybe a language time. lesson. Yeah, well, that too. And I had to speak Spanish. That was really cool. I don't speak Spanish, but I'm kind of really close to it. My kids do speak it, you know, and uh, I had to really learn it like I'm Spaniard and stuff, but it was really cool. You know, right. it worked Your out guy, really good. Uh, Capone we know is a bad guy. Your character, it's a bad guy? Or a good guy? Well, now I can tell you more because when we started the show, it was very, you're very not supposed vague, to talk ambiguous. about it. Yeah. Exactly, you know, but <laughs> then later on you find out that these bad guys that in the beginning, they think that he's delusional that these people don't exist, it's Rittenhouse. And they actually killed his family and made it look that he actually did it. Uh, so he's on a run, and then he decides, he finds out about this time machine, he decides to steal it, and basically brings his family back. That was, that was his main story. And now our Team A, our good guys, they learned that actually what he was telling all this time is truth and they're trying to work on the same problem. The only thing is my character does a lot of carpet bombing. He doesn't know how to oh. do a surgical oh. precision. Right. So he doesn't care about how is he going to do things. Yeah. So that's where the clash is happening. So you have the time machine. You can go back anywhere you want, right? Well, we're, we, we kind of did limit ourselves with certain things because, you know, if that's true, you can just keep going back to the same place until mm -hmm. you fix it. So we said you're not allowed to go any place where you've already been or you know, I was born in 1972, so theoretically I'm not supposed to go anywhere from 1972 to today. Mm. So I can go literally to a month before I was born. But Could you go back huh. to uh, George Washington? Could yeah. Go yeah. back as far as you want. We actually did. That was this picture from this episode. That was actually we meet George Washington yeah. in this episode. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you know. That's cool. <laughs> no, it was, you know, we met Abraham Lincoln. I have to say I actually pulled the trigger on that one. That was really difficult for me because I had to call my son and say, look, you know, when you see this episode, your yeah. dad's going to do something really horrible. Really? You, but what did you do? I actually you execute the guy? Flynn's <gasps> the guy who executes Abraham Lincoln because he thinks, you know, it already happened in history. So I just, I need to, I need to do exactly the same oh. because Booth kind of like chickens out. Because Booth he chickens did. out? Well, he didn't kind of chicken funny. out. He didn't want to use the modern 21st century gun that I was suggesting for him to use. Uh -huh. that's and that's Flynn kind of awesome. wants to make a bigger, he God. wants the whole conspiracy to succeed. You can play with any reality you want, huh? You know what, it's really, it's really, every episode we learn something that, you know, I'm kind of history buff and I know a lot about history, but every episode you learn yeah. things that sure. you kind of. Yeah. Roxy wanted to ask you about this. When, of course, you, you, you cut your bones here at, on ER. That's mm -hmm. where we, all right. You weren't on when George Clooney was on, but what happened? That Clooney, first day you showed up, right? And you guys crossed paths. Yeah, well, we were we were in the same movie, but uh, he was already wrapped in uh, Macedonia, in in Europe, and uh, but we met uh, Mimi Leader. She was directing a movie, but I I was there a little a month later. I was literally one line, and then they shoot me. Uh -huh. So we never met, but they were, oh, you guys were in the same movie. I'm like, well, yeah, we were in the same movie, but we never met. You know, uh -huh. I literally had like one sentence to say. But yeah, then when I was on ER, I parked my car in a parking lot. There all the actors park. And there's everybody has a name tags and stuff. And I'm walking towards the set, and I'm kind of like, 
very uneasy feeling, you know. I'm like just a kid from Croatia, now I'm suddenly on this number one TV show in the States and all that stuff, and George is walking by and he's like, hey, you're the new guy. I'm like, yeah, that would be me. <laughs> he's like, you know what, man, you're going to love it. These guys are awesome. You're gonna, and, and it was exactly how he said. It was really, it was really sweet. It was really. I kind of felt that everybody was really backing me up. He, like he gave you the blessing. He gave you the blessing. Exactly. You got cloniized. There you go. Okay. I, See, he's was a really, charmer. That yeah. one. It was really much easier to walk on that set thinking, you know, oh, that's a cool he's guy. He's backing you, know? you up. Timeless yeah. airs uh, tonight at 10 o'clock on Gordon, NBC. Gordon, so nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you, Gordon. Good to see you. Thank you very, very much.